Hi, my name is Daniel, a product specialist at StreamStar. In today's video, I will guide you through StreamStar's streaming options. I'm sure you'll agree that streaming is the essential functionality no matter what system you use or how you create your output. If you are serious about your live streaming business, only the best is good enough. And in this regard, StreamStar is a true star. StreamStar features a built-in broadcast quality encoder that delivers superior quality streaming productions to multiple destinations with a selection of fine-tuned encoder profiles for predefined popular streaming platforms, the setup is simple and easy. So let's get started. Click on the gear icon in the settings area menu and click on the streaming button. This opens the streaming settings pane with three menu tabs. Under the first streaming destination tab, you will see all streaming destinations that are already set up. If there's none yet, we need to create them first. Go to the next Add New Destination tab, choose any platform you wish to use. This opens the selected platform settings pane. Fill in the required fields for the URL and stream name. Some platforms allow you to fill in a backup URL as well. Click Save. The chosen streaming platform appears in the streaming destination list. Repeat the procedure to create up to five destinations since StreamStar supports simultaneous streaming to multiple destinations. Each item in the streaming destinations list has three control elements, a start, stop, edit, and delete button. The start and stop button starts or stops the stream to this individual destination. Click the edit button if you need to edit the streaming platform credentials. Click the delete button to delete streaming destinations from the list. Before we can start streaming, we need to set up the stream parameters and set up the streaming encoder. Click the encoding tab to open the encoder settings pane. Using the drop down menu in the load encoding profile section, choose one of the predefined encoder profiles for your selected platform. You will find profiles for YouTube or Facebook that you can use instantly. After selecting one, review the encoder settings for video and audio displayed below. In case you wish to adjust the encoder settings manually, use the drop-down menus for audio and video to set it up as you wish. StreamStar supports streaming at up to 1080p, 50 or 60 FPS, at a bandwidth up to 10 megabits per second. Now that we have set up the encoder, the total bandwidth required to be able to stream with the set parameters is displayed at bottom. Please note that multiple destination streaming requires the display bandwidth for each stream multiplied by the number of streaming destinations used. So make sure your upload speed is sufficient. Press the new profile button to create the new encoder profile. The settings pane opens where you can set every parameter of the encoder individually. In the Save Profile section, type a name in the provided text field and click Save As. The new profile is now shown in the predefined profiles list in the Load Encoding Profile drop-down menu for repeated use. The Edit Profile button is for modifying an existing predefined profile. Please note that only custom created encoder profiles can be edited. Now that we have streaming profile set, let's go back to the Streaming Destination tab so we can actually start streaming. In the Streaming Start Stop section, click the large Start All button to start streaming to all destinations at once. To start streaming to any of the streaming destinations individually, use the Start button in the Streaming Destinations list. At the very bottom of the graphical user interface, there are readouts that inform you about the status of the system. If there's a green dot in the internet connection field, the system is connected to internet. Red means no connection. Next is the IP address and at the very right is the output bitrate information field which is very relevant to streaming. It displays two values divided by a slash. The first value is indicating the bitrate required for a single stream. The second is a sum of all bitrates required for multi-destination streaming. StreamStar systems are being used daily to stream productions ranging from small live events to large TV network productions, and there is a good reason for it. One of them is the superior quality of StreamStar's encoders, which enable you to deliver broadcast quality live streams to viewers all over the world. 
for more tutorial videos and to learn more about StreamStar, please visit our website at streamstar.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.